What's up guys, Jay here, and Season 5 for Deep Rock Galactic is officially out. And what you are about to see is a compressed down and compiled version of my first day of streaming the new season. This was a lot of fun, it was a very successful first day of the season, I liked everything that I got to see. I'm primarily going to be showing footage of the new mission type as well as some other interesting and fun things that happened during the stream. The mission type itself was a lot of fun, I didn't get to really experience too many of the new overclocks. I did get one of them, the new one for the Lock 1 Smart Rifle, and it was was very very effective. Uh, unfortunately in the entirety of the stream and even in the several games that I recorded after I was done the stream I didn't get a single one of the new seasonal events which I'm a little bit upset about but in any event I did get to experience a lot of the other things the new enemies some of the new side objectives and a couple of other things as well and overall my experience was very nice and I just wanted to show you guys a cut down version of my first experience with the official release of the new season. So I hope you guys enjoy and be sure to like comment and subscribe if you want to see more stuff like this. I know it's something different than what I normally do, but it still lets me know what types of videos you guys like to see. Now let's get into it. Hang in there. The wave is all I gotcha. My first stalker. Yeah, so the idea is you basically have to look around until you can get, until the signal thing starts beeping up really full. And that's how you know you're getting close to a crystal. Jeez, but the only thing is, is I'm very far away from a crystal, and I have no idea where to go to get to them. That's the only thing so far, like, between now and the beta, that I have noticed is just really, really easy to get lost. But that's the only real thing. So we have to find our way to the next crystals. There we go. So far, that's just roughly about the same from what I remember from the beta, so... Hold on. Oh my goodness, he snuck up on me. Okay, that was actually really good. That stalker is actually giving us a little bit of trouble. Now we are off. Can you build sentries on Drill Evader? Yes, you can. Deposit them all in. Call the drop out for extraction. And then the jet boots literally pop out right here. Pop out right off the side of the Drill Evader. And then just whoop. Thank you. Oh, stalker. Definitely looks like they gave the stalker a little bit more health, which I'm okay with. I did think they were a little bit too fragile in the beta. So, so far, so good. First mission down. Very good. And also just having access to mods is just... It, it's, you know, it's not a crazy thing, but it's one of those things where once you, once you start using mods, you can't really go back. Although none of my mods are active at the moment, probably because they're not adjusted for the new season. So hang on. I found another... Uh, hang on. I see the last of a barnacle. There we go. Bob article down. Imagine not having a cape. Couldn't be me. Heck, those guys just spawn on like nothing. Do you have any mods installed? I have them installed, but they're not applied because I think they're not at the new version. Mods might be. Yeah, if you're crashing, disable mods. That might be. That might be something else too. Because you gotta. You gotta think. It's. It's like a Skyrim update. You know, like all the mods are probably not used to the new system because now there's a lot of things that you need to keep them that they have to take into consideration. So I'm probably not going to run with my mods for a little bit just to give the mod creators time to update them. So they'll have to run. So alas, no bonk sound effect for a little while. Oh, I just realized bouncy bullets would have been really, really good here. Can a driller theoretically drill down to the next cave layer? Yes, they did say that you can get into it. But here's the thing, like you can't collect like you could collect the Morkite geodes, but if you don't have the drill evader down here, from what I've from what I know, it won't like register that you've collected the the, the Morkite seeds. So you'll have to call down the drill evader anyway. Like yes, it's a cool thing, but also it just it just takes so freaking long. Not only that, but like in my opinion, like the drill evader section is the coolest section of the entire mission. So I'm I don't want to skip it because it's just insanely cool. Yeah, let's get out of here. Yeah, we went down far. Oh, another successful mission. So I haven't seen the new seasonal event at all yet. I heard a stalk. I heard a stalker. I heard the shimmer of the stalker. Oh, I see a scale. I see scale bramble vines. Finally get to see those in action a little bit. Yep, we can see that it is a bramble. Okay, the brambles. Okay, the bramble still seems relatively fragile, but I feel like it. I feel like it was hitting a little bit harder, which I guess is a decent change. I'm a little bit scared. Oh, there he is. 
Restraining order served. That's funny. There it is. Resonance crystal. Driller is just the definition of intrusive thoughts. Like, the driller is what happens when the intrusive thoughts take over. Oh my goodness, just seeing all them crawling down the walls. Driller drill faster than this? I mean, sure, but like, it'd be way less fun. That's the thing, like, I'm sure there, I'm sure you can do this faster, but like, faster does not equal more fun. Like, this to me is awesome. This is such a cool sequence, and I love it. I'm guessing we have all of them, correct? Yeah, Molly's just taking her time to get here. We Can I beat my flare? Ooh, close. Bro, the flare literally has no drop off. It just keeps going. Oh no, it fell. Okay. I do wish they made Molly go a little bit faster. But give her like a jet propulsion up the hole. I don't think that's really asking for a whole lot. You know what I mean? Because like the momentum of the mission goes very, very well until you get to this part. And then things start to just sort of slow down because you're just waiting for Molly. Mmm, what is your favorite track in the OST? Mine is Robot Getaway. Ooh, I mean, Dance of the Dreadnoughts is just, it's, it's such a good one. I, I don't know the name of it. Still haven't figured out the name of it yet, but the one for the new seasonal event, like the soundtrack that goes when that happens, that's a really good one too, and I like that one a lot. Give me something. Oh, new NG clock. What do we got? Smart Trigger OS. I got the new Smart Rifle one. I'll have to try that one out next time. What? Yes, you do. Anders. Oh, thank you, Anders, for, for uh, joining. Yeah, I'm lurking streams. Okay. Are the Ghost Ship Studio Game Studios in a ghost ship? Uh, I, I'm not legally obligated to say. I, I cannot. I cannot say. Especially with one of the devs in the stream, I cannot. Um, I, 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 uh, I don't. I don't want to get myself blacklisted by anybody. Oh, okay. Well, you, you heard it directly from the source. No rules on international waters. So it's the morning where you are? It's about it's almost 10.30 a.m. for me, roughly. Oh, I forgot I have the spinny winny. Yeah. Best stock class of the engineer, no doubt. You know what? I agree with you, John. Oh my God, John Rambo in the chat. We got the John Rambo in the chat? Why do you use the lowercock without the auto aim? Is that just main purpose of having your main gun? I am curious. Well, no, so I'm... I'm using the it's it's using the uh, the lock on feature, but right now what I'm doing is I'm using the new overclock, which basically once it hits maximum locks, it f automatically fires the shots. Um, but it only can lock. It only has like two maximum locks. Well, it looks like everybody is ready. So, oh my God, so much gold! We're about to get rained on with gold. So much gold. This is this is the best anomaly for this mission type. This is 100% the best anomaly for this mission type. Oh, this is so lovely. What about rocking is more legal than stoning? That's a good question. Which one is more legal than stoning? Which one is more legal? Like theoretically speaking, like if, if you were to go into court and somebody like claims that they were uh, hit with a rock and you say, your honor, that's not true. They were, I was hit with a stone, not a rock. Do you have, like, a viable case with that? Why is all the gold just floating up there? No, drop. Doesn't it drop, like, once we hit to the bottom? I would look at all that gold. Look at it there, just tantalizing. I think I think it'll all drop once we hit the, the bottom, right? Once we hit the bottom, I think, is when it'll go. Oh, man, look at this. Look at all that gold. Oh, wait, did it just disappear? Tell me it didn't just disappear. Oh, no, it's all here. <gasps> Look at it. You can get the gold with the jet boots if it doesn't. That's, that's fair. Hey, you guys get that. I'm going to get these. Uh, well, first, let me put some platforms up. That way you guys have some. I never put my sentry gun down during that entire sequence. I'm sorry. I'm just the worst player in this game, apparently. Whee! Did the new event uh, work for you? I actually haven't seen the new event yet. I actually have not seen If I, If the event has spawned, I haven't been able to find it yet. So, uh... What are we? Oh yeah, cause Molly. Yeah, go ship. Make it. Make Molly faster. Coming up the tunnel. How long have you been playing DRG for? For a couple years now. Um, I played on and off in the very beginning, right before season one. And when season one came out, I started playing it a little bit more. Um, and then I really, I started making content and stuff by the time season, by the time it was like midway through season three. All total between the PC version and the Xbox version, uh, I have like maybe five, six hundred hours. Oh, okay, so we had oh, so we had crystals first, and then and now we have rocks. Okay, that's interesting. So we're not gonna see the new attack. It looks like, but but we're probably gonna get an absolute metric crap ton of rocks. Somebody uh, fix Doretta. I oh got so many rocks. Ah! Uh... 
Yeah, laser beam, laser beam. Why don't you use the lock on? I am using the lock on. I'm using the lock on right now. It's just with this new overclock um, because I can only lock on to two targets at a time. And it also automatically fires at maximum block. So I'm, I'm holding down the click button right now. I'm holding down the fire button and it's just locking onto things so fast because I only have two maximum locks, um, which you can see on the very side. See those two little rectangles? Um, and it just automatically fires when it hits max locks. Which honestly feels pretty good. I might want to run the the mods that give me more max locks. But other than that, it's actually really nice because it it just makes it so much like more consistent. Instead of having to like wait until you lock on to like 14 bajillion things. The red thing, it, it, because I only have two locks, it goes so fast. What was the inspiration for my name? Oh, like my channel name? So, a bit of a weird story. The original name came from Guild Wars 2, which is a game that I put a lot of time into. I haven't played a lot recently, but I played a lot of it. And I remember I needed to come up with a name for my character. And at the time, I was really into Mass Effect. I think it was 3. It was 2 or 3, whichever one had Javik in it. I believe that was three. It was three that had him in it. And I had initially, I wanted to sort of meld that name together with something else. And then that's where I kind of just came up with that name. And it just sort of stuck. I basically just kept it for everything because it was never taken. Nobody ever had it. And yeah, it just, it was something that like, I just, it just stuck with me. I need minerals. I still haven't found the new seasonal event, bro. Like I want to keep, I want to find it. Uh, gu gu gunny, gunny, jump down. I'll catch you. Jump down. I'll catch you with my head. Whoa. Oh my goodness. Okay. Okay. Uh... <laughs> Big tail yoinked me. That was horrifying. The tails are even scarier there. Yeah, they really are. All right. Give me some channel some good luck, people. I want I want an I want a um a core stone event to spawn here. Because I'm probably gonna do maybe one or two more missions and then I'm gonna call it there so that way I can finally start compiling this thing together. But I want to at least get one core stone event. I need, I need some good I need some good vibes here. See I love how in when season four was out, I was getting a meteor or I was getting a herald like friggin' every two seconds. Like every, every mission I got at least one or the other. And now I've done like what? Eight, nine, maybe 10 missions. And I haven't gotten a single core stone event. Like, what is this? Yeah, other than the apparently really low spawn rate that the event has, at least in my at least in my experience, this has been beginning of this season seems to be pretty awesome. Still haven't gotten any... Okay, so this was just a very basic one. So we haven't even gotten the new attack yet. In, in, in either of the... In any of the escort missions we played today, so... I didn't watch the uh, the devs do their stream. So I'm not sure if they did it at any point in time during their, during their uh, missions, but... I imagine it's there. And I'm just getting really, 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 really unlucky. Overall... First impressions of this on the first day. Things are great. The mission type is a lot of fun. It was it was very, very... It's more or less the same as it was from the beta, but very, very nice. The enemies are good. Didn't get to see a whole lot of them. The spawning is a little bit lower than normal. Didn't get to see the event once, unfortunately. That's the only real drawback about it. And also didn't get to use too many of the new overclocks. I did get one new one, but yeah, overall pretty good. So I'm just going to cut in right now because I start rambling for about 15 minutes, but to end everything off, yes, everything was phenomenal. I did like everything that I got to experience so far. I am a little bit upset that I didn't get to see the event once because I really would have liked to do the core stone event. I had a lot of fun with it during the beta. Maybe I just got really, really unlucky, but I'll keep trying. Uh, stay tuned for the coming weeks where I have more season five stuff planned to come out. I am definitely going to be streaming this a lot more starting next week i'm probably going to be going back to my normal stream schedule so stay tuned for that but in any event i hope you guys found this video entertaining if you did please be sure to like comment and subscribe as it tells me what types of videos you guys want to see rocket stone miners i'll see you in the next video